last couple of years have obviously been tough on everyone. It goes without saying, but the pandemic changed everything, and education is no exception. In fact, one could argue that educators and students both have had quite the responsibility thrust upon them caused by the ever-changing educational landscape. I am certain that most, if not all, parties involved within the education system during the transition to remote learning, as well as the switch back to a different looking face-to-face -face classroom, have felt isolated, distant, and alone. These feelings of isolation during remote learning have presented educators with unique and difficult challenges. One of them being, how do I connect with my students, or establish rapport with my students in a different classroom setting. Hi, I'm Josh Fitzgerald, and I am a doctoral candidate in the School of Teaching and Learning here at ISU. I currently teach communication at a few higher education institutions. I'm a research assistant right now for ISU, and sometimes I like to teach at high schools too when they let me. Anyway, during this time, I would like to share with you some of my research interests, as well as some of my personal interests to try and make academia appear less scary than it really is. That was kind of a joke, but moving on nonetheless. As I said moments ago, students and educators have to adapt with the ever-changing landscape the pandemic has presented. I guess maybe fortunately for me, which is kind of weird to say out loud, but fortunately for me, this is right in line with what my dissertation topic was when I came into ISU. My research focus is how students and teachers establish rapport with one another, and more specifically, how teachers can kind of cultivate that process uh, themselves through various teaching behaviors and, and uh, theories and stuff like that. However, rather than a traditional face-to-face -face class, I will be looking at e-learning or online learning, remote learning, which we all had to go through if you were in school the last couple of years. In other words, during times of online learning, how can students and teachers end up like Mr. Feeney and Corey from Boy Meets World? That's what I want to know. Also, as we all know by now, there are certain things limited by online learning. Some of these limitations are, but not limited to, obviously, less opportunities for teachers to appear empathetic or be socially supportive of their students, uh, teachers sharing similarities between them and their students, teachers being able to use humor or showcase their personality in the class if it's online. I'm sure teachers and students alike understand kind of what I'm talking about as far as limitations in an online classroom go. So how do we establish rapport when our interactions are more limited in an online setting and where we have to be creative as educators to overcome those barriers that we just talked about? So, and that's what I would like to find more about. That's what I've made my dissertation topic. That's what I am eager to learn more about in the coming months or years, depending on how long it takes. Uh, right now, as an educator, I have some guesses in relation to how to overcome those barriers as an educator. But again, they're just guesses. But when I think about how teachers might be able to encourage rapport with their students in an online setting, a few things come to mind. Welcome back, everybody. Today's reaction is going to be to an informative speech presentation that I can't wait to, to watch. So buckle in. Let's get going. Oh, this is fantastic. Tell me you go to Susquehanna without telling me you go to Susquehanna. Yeah, I don't go to Stinky Banana, but I would like to talk about some communication theories if we could do that. Hey everyone, a lot of people have been asking what my makeup routine is. So we're going to talk about it, I'm going to break it down, but at the same time, we're going to talk about public speaking, information literacy, critical thinking, all the fun stuff. Those are just some fun ideas that I think might work or that I would appreciate as a student. But again, that's what these tests are for. That's what the study is for. Outside of my dissertation idea, my research interests are pretty much all over the place. I like lots of things and I like researching lots of things. I have publications in a few various areas, sports communication, uh, interpersonal comm. My favorite publication is a qualitative study about the evolution of song lyrics. Seriously, I'm easily distracted by things. All right, but now that we have discussed my professional slash academic stuff, um, I want to share my interests outside of school. And the reason I want to do that is because educators, teachers, professors, and everyone in between have a life outside of education. And I personally would like to pull back that curtain a little bit and uh, again, make academia seem less like a, an intimidating thing. My favorite thing to do is attend live music events. Uh, if anyone I enjoy is performing even somewhat nearby, um, I will almost always try to buy tickets and be as close as possible in the pit. It, it's kind of a problem. I spend all my money on that, but I wouldn't change it. I love it. Uh, if you don't believe me, here's a picture of me after seeing the band New Found Glory covered head to toe in sweat after being in the pit for a solid hour or so, however long the set was. And here's another pic of me uh, covered in fake blood and slime after seeing Guar 
live. Now, I don't love Guar, but that was quite the experience, and if you have the opportunity to do it, I would recommend it, because it is one of those bucket list things to just be sprayed with fake blood and slime for, you know, however long their, their set is. Also, I really enjoy movies. Now, I understand that most people enjoy movies and TV and stuff like that, but as you could probably see, I like to mess around with editing software and I bought a camera that I can't afford uh, just to see what I could do with it. Strictly out of curiosity and wanting to see what the possibilities were recording and editing your own things. Um, I didn't know at the time of the purchase that a global pandemic was right around the corner, which ultimately justify that purchase, but here we are and it worked out, I guess. You know, and I could go on about my interests like anyone, but for the sake of time, I will wrap up. For those who have stuck around to the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you really quick. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you, you just want to chat, anything really, please feel free to reach out. Here is my email address and here is my Instagram handle, whatever's easier for you. It's totally fine with me. Also, if any of our research interests appear similar or anything like that, and you want to work on a study together, please let me know. I am always eager to learn new things and explore new avenues of research. And of course, publications are fun too. So with all that said, my name is Josh. Thanks for stopping by. Also, keep an eye out for my dissertation defense announcement. Please come to it, please attend, I, I would love that. You should see that announcement in at least, you know, one to eight years. Okay, yeah, thanks, goodbye. <laughs>